What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the best stretch resolution in the new Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 1 OG. Basically, this method works for all GPUs, Nvidia, AMD, Intel, anything on any PC. And it's the best way to actually boost your FPS and lower your input lag as your PC actually has to render less pixels. And at the same time, it's a huge advantage because your view models are much, much bigger so you can see your enemies much quicker. Now, there are a couple of really popular resolutions that almost everyone uses. For example, the 720 by 10 80 which is made really popular by peter bot the 1680 by 1050 and the 1550 by 1080 made popular by Martos, and some others for example like 800 by 600 which is basically the stretchiest that can actually go and actually boost a lot of fps so it's really nice to use all right so what i've done here is i've put every single stretch resolution possible into a folder basically the best ones that all the pros use 800 by 600 1024 by 768 all of the ones that i mentioned earlier are here with a reverse now basically what this is is custom game user settings files basically this will not only boost your fps as the game user settings files are already tweaked but at the same time is just a drag and drop solution to get any resolution that you want to get this what you want to do is open your browser and type in discord.gg slash tweaks and once that opens go to the free tweaks channel and go and download this stretch resolution.zip file basically just download it now once you have it on your desktop or wherever you saved it just right click open with and windows explorer drag this file out open it up and then pick any resolution that you want i'm gonna be picking the 1720 by 1080 just open this up now next for any file that you want to do is windows plus r type in local app data once that opens up click f and find fortnite game open this up go to the saved config windows client and here you have the game user settings.ini files basically what you want to do is either drag this to your desktop to keep it if you ever want to revert it or just delete it as a whole and just drag this file in after that what you want to do is close everything out and start up fortnite now as you can see the stretch resolution actually works if you go to the settings it's gonna say 1920 by 1080 but that doesn't really mean anything because the game doesn't actually know shit thing is it's in full screen it's not in full screen windowed now you can also go in game and test it out if you really don't believe me let's check how it actually works and as you can see we're in game and this actually works it's all the same settings everything as i said it's on stretch rest even you yourself can see it so yeah now if you ever want to revert and you don't have the file saved like i do here on the desktop basically you can use the revert option here just drag this file out replace it really simple really easy you can just restart fortnite and everything is going to be on the native resolution without any stretch resolution now additionally what you can do if you want to make a custom one right click go to properties and disable the read only option click apply click ok and then right click and edit it now what you want to do is just scroll down until you find any resolution at all as you can see here we have the resolution size x and y and basically these two options this here and this here is what you want to change for example you want to have native resolution 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 and what you want to do is basically change the same for everywhere as you can see the desired screen width and the last user confirmed design screen width basically change these two parameters and you're going to have any stretch resolution that you want with your own settings then just close it out right click properties and make sure to click on read only again so that fortnite doesn't actually change the files once you open the game click ok close everything out and enjoy your new experience with a lot of fps boost and no input lag whatsoever now if this video helped you out make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to join the discord server for the best free tweaks that's all i have to say thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video